Hi everybody! And in this but in this video, I'll be showing you guys all the new up the all the new things in the new update in Blood Escape 2. So Blood Escape 2 just had a new update today, and they added a like you can pick basically you can pick what the map is. So when you go in here, this screen will show up. It says map voting easy. This is easy. So like let's say I want to cast the tides, I pick that and hit confirm vote. You do have to buy these ones every time though. You can boost it for 10 coins too to make it an extra vote. But yeah, this you vote for every map. I don't think you vote for Blue Moon because you know Blue Moon is just there's only one crazy. So yeah, it's really 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 cool. Yeah, I really like the new update. I mean, it's decent, but like, oh, uh, there's the one. That, I mean, I kind, yeah, I kind of like it. Though so, the one thing that is annoying with the update, though, is that the some of the maps do cost money, and like to be able to play them, and uh, you, um. Like, it's not, you can't have it just randomly pick those. I don't think, like, if you have it randomly pick without voting at all, then I don't think it will pick the ones that cost you money. So, yeah. The update's decent, but I think that with when it's just voting random maps, I think that's better. But otherwise, yeah, it's a pretty cool update. Because there are some good things and bad things about the update. Like, good things about the update is, like, if you really wanted to play, like, Dark Side Facility, then when you get to an insane, you can choose Dark Side Facility, and it could possibly get, uh, it could possibly get voted. Like, if you're the only person in the server, like I am in this VIP server, my friend Evan's, my best friend Evan's VIP server, then, yeah, it's good. But, in public servers, people can just keep, like, they can... Everyone can will vote. Chances are there will be like one map that everyone votes for. So yeah. Otherwise, yeah. The downside to the update is that most some of the maps cost money, so like you'd have to buy to vote for it. But when you buy to vote for it, it, it does give you two votes on the map actually. It's pretty cool. And I think it's random for everyone. Oh what? That was really bad. But one thing that I definitely would advise the creator of the game to do is to have it so the maps that you can buy them to unlock them forever so you can buy the maps for 20 coins and then unlock them for that map forever and just keep and then you can just keep buying them and yeah i think that'd be really cool if you could just unlock all those maps like just buy it like this map well you could just buy like sedimentary temple and i have it unlocked forever or wild savannah or dark side forest or any of those so it would be like really cool if you could do that. I would really like if they added that in the game. So for Blue Moon, I actually don't know what would, what happens for Blue Moon. But yeah, definitely, if no one votes at all, it just picks a random map. I don't know if it, I think it only picks the maps that are unlocked. Or maybe it's every map. I think it might be every map. So you can just, oh, actually, yeah, that's cool. But if you're in a public server or in a server with more than one person, then you'd have to get lucky and tell like they have no one vote for any map you want it just to be a random so yeah that is kind of annoying but otherwise if you're in a VIP server like I am then you can just vote for whatever map though it does cost money for those other ones or you can just if you don't like the map's choices then you can just not vote at all and then it just picks a random map basically which is really cool like it used to pick a random maps so yeah but yeah, I can't wait to get to Blue Moon so I can see what happens. Because, obviously, for Crazies, there's only one map, Blue Moon. So, I don't know if you have to pay for it to, to play it, or if it's free and it just doesn't have voting for that map because it's, there's only one map. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see when we get there, if we get there. I think we will. Sticking ship. Actually, Beneath the Ruins. I haven't beat Beneath the Ruins by myself, unfortunately, so I'm going to do it. I beat Banana 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 Abandoned facility by myself. It, it was it was decent. It worked. But beneath the ruins I have not been by myself. So I'm gonna do it. See if I can get it right be it right now. What? I had like no air left, but we're gonna hurry and do this extra fast. So then we can beat this. Oh 
Oh yes. Barely snuck through there. We barely got through. But hey, we got through. That's all right. Now we just gotta not die and then we win. And go fast enough that we that nothing goes. Ooh, I saw it closing right on me as I was going. So yeah, this is pretty cool. I hope I beat this by myself for my first time, because I would I would be really happy. Come on, please get this glitch, please. This is like the most powerful glitch ever. Now I have to get the glitch if I want to live. And I don't think I'm going to get the glitch. Oh, I did. Okay. That was a real waste of time, that glitch there, unfortunately. It's okay. Well, anyway, that is the new update. So, remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell, and turn it to all, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.